Yesterday when I went sourcing, I decided to pick up only shoes with the main focus being winter boots. So that's the kind of thrift haul I have here for you today. Let's get right into it because I do have three full tubs to go through. Starting off with the first tub, in here I do have two purses because that was the initial idea to focus on purses and shoes but there really wasn't that much to pick from in the purse section i only found these two that i thought were worth picking up to resell starting off with this one here it is a very big one it is by betsy johnson i love the floral and the striped pattern that it has going on it also has side pockets on the side very spacious on the inside this could actually be used as a diaper bag if i was having a girl i would probably keep it many different pockets all over the bag betsy johnson is a good brand in the bag section to be on the lookout for a lot of the times though for some reason i find them in terrible condition but when i can find a good one i pick it up if it's a good price this one here was $19.81. Everything was half off this day, so I only paid $10 for this, which is probably a bit much for a Betsy Johnson purse if it were a smaller one. But since this one is bigger, I decided to go ahead and give it a try. And I am going to put those keywords in there at the bottom of my listing. Diaper bag, baby bag, those kinds of things. This is a definite pickup in the purse section. I'm trying to see if I can find the logo. Here it is. It is a fossil. This is a gray colored one with the fringe tassel stuff in the front. It has a detachable strap uh crossbody strap I mean it is adjustable as well lots of pockets on the outside and the inside I thought this was a very cute style this one was eight dollars and fifty cents and it does have the iconic charm although it's not that impressive it's just a plastic little key here but I think this still will do really well I recently listed three fossil bags that sold really fast that hadn't happened to me in the past i don't know if i'm pricing them way too low and that's why they're selling so fast okay now we're going to get into the boots first off we have these columbia white snow waterproof boots they have the lace up they're quilted on the bottom they do say they are omni grip inside they are fur lined and these here are size seven and a half. So this tub here is prepped and ready to go. It's been cleaned, so there are no prices. But for these, if I had to take a guess, I think it was about eight to nine dollars. And that is a big focus of mine right now, focusing on fur lined boots, no boots, anything waterproof, anything people will use in the outdoors during the cold weather. Or for things like this, tall boots, riding boots, anything with buckles. These here are some beautiful brown leather Michael Kors tall booties. These are in a size 9. These were around $10 and I thought I could clean the bottoms up a little better. It is a little dark here towards the front but I think they still will do well. The heel is a little bit on the higher side and it doesn't have any sort of closures. Hopefully I can at least get 35 out of those boots. These here was a very good find. They are by the brand Torrid, which I don't think I'll be able to show you because it's all the way inside the boot. There's nothing here at the bottom, but I think many of you will recognize that brand Torrid. These are in a size 10 and right here in the sticker, it says the original price was $76.90. They're in excellent condition overall. They just have a couple of black marks here and there, but nothing too major. They're still very wearable, very trendy with the lace up in the back. Super wide calf. Once you unlace this, this stretches out very wide. Easy to put on and off with the zipper closure on the side. Just a very beautiful boot and I do very well with Torrid clothing, but even better with Torrid shoes. People seek out those shoes, I feel like, because they are made for people with wider feet and they just fit more comfortable for them. So these I expect to do extremely well. Here we have another wide calf boot, just like the Torrid. This calf is super wide. 
I got them mostly because they're like new. They still have this here on the buckles to keep it from scratching. The bottoms look excellent and it is a darker brown. They have that slouchy style going on. That's an excellent keyword to add to your titles and descriptions. The slouchy. It also has the lace up in the back. They are size 9 and they're by this brand called Dream Pairs. I've sold this brand once before. I remember it selling pretty good and in a decent time frame. I will put up a picture here on the side so that you can see how much those sold for. They were a different style or much more chunkier type style but hopefully these will do good as well. I'm thinking these were like eight to nine dollars but mainly the reason I picked them up was the condition. These here I was going back and forth. I do remember the price for these were twelve dollars which is not bad for a pair of boots but because of the brand I was so unsure. It is a brand called Not Rated. The lining inside is a super soft one. I believe these are sold at Buckle and I've sold a few other pairs by them. They do well in that they sell fast but not really for that much so for $12 I was really going back and forth but since the style is a good one and these are also like new just like the other ones I mean no sort of wear at the bottom at all they're also a decent size in a size 10 and they have a little bit of interesting features like this it looks like lace up but it's really not in the back it has these cutouts here on the side and I think they just look more like western boots so that's why I decided to go ahead and take the chance even though they were priced up for it being that brand. Then we have some Sam Edelman boots. Dark brown with a little bit of fading towards the front here. Zip in the back and they have this little logo here which I've done good with in the past. During the winter that's one of the boots I look for. Sam Edelman because they do command a high selling price. These here are leather upper and they're in a size 9 wide. I think this was one of the best finds of the day. They are Sorel boots which I don't have that much experience with. I just don't find them that often around here. I think I've sold one other boot by them and I have a little girl's boot that's been sitting for a long time but I expect this to perform better than that because they are a women boot they have the fur lining the lace up the rubber down here they are waterproof the bottoms look excellent I really don't see any sort of wear on them other than a little bit of like staining here around this little white stripe but I mean that is nothing and for these I put up the size on the screen because the US portion of the sticker is cut off but this is an excellent snow boot I haven't even done comps but I really do think those will sell for a high amount then we have the super trendy high stiletto heel boots they are a dark green suede material lace up style and they are by a brand called Lamb which I've sold once before. I sold a purse by them that did extremely well. These are all leather and they are size 7. This is a rare find for me. White boots. Most of the time my boots are either a dark color, black, a brown, maybe even a tan but white I hardly ever find in good of enough condition to pick it up but these here are also like new. They are in embossed they have this contrast stitching here on the shaft semi pointed toe the bottoms look excellent and they are by that brand called coconuts they are in a size 9 I've picked up coconuts before as well they don't always sell for the best amount for western boots but if I can find them at a good enough price I always pick them up because I know they will be a fast flip Next up we have this brand called Naturalizer. Super wide calf on these with the buckle details on the side. Buckle here towards the ankle. An extremely good condition riding boot. I can't find the size anywhere but I'll be sure to put it on the screen. There are a few boots in this batch that I'm super excited to get listing because I feel like they were excellent finds. The Sorel boots is one and here is another. There are these Ugg boots with the studding all along the trim down here, the round toe, slip-on style, and of course they are sheepskin line on the inside 
all throughout. These are in a size 9 and if I can remember correctly these were 35 half off so that makes it like $17.50 which is an excellent price to pay for this style of Ugg. Uggs is one of my best performing boot brand during the winter. At least it was last year. This year I hadn't been finding it that much because they were overpricing it at the thrift stores around here but in this batch I found many that were decent price, decent condition and style so I do have plenty of Ugg boots to list now. Next up we have these Ralph Lauren rubber plaid pattern boots. They are Lauren Ralph Lauren actually. They are a size 7. Here on the back it has the logo. A nice extra detail with the buckle here. So I think I will also add the keyword riding boot for these. These must have been like $9. I do really well with rubber boots in other brands. So them being Ralph Lauren and this cool plaid pattern. I thought that was a definite pickup. And of course I can never come home without some western boots. These here are by the brand Justin, if you can see it there on the sole, but I think most of you will recognize that brand as well. They are this crackle leather, distressed looking, they have the contrast stitching here. I don't know if these are men's or women's, but they are a size 9.5, and, and I want to say that I paid about $20 for these boots. Normally $20 for Justin boots is way too much for me unless they look like this, that they have extra features going on. But if they were just a plain black or a plain brown, I would probably leave them behind. But since these have more extra cool features, hopefully I can get more out of these. This is another of the boots that I was super excited to find. They are some pull-on green suede boots and they are by the brand Tory Burch. And these weren't that much either, maybe like $8. They are leather upper, the lining is leather, and so is the sole. It's all leather and they are a size six and a half, a smaller size, but I think these won't have any trouble selling. And I actually did find another pair of Tory Burch this day right by these they looked a lot like these here these rubber boots initially i had picked them up but after doing some comps and they were twenty dollars the condition on those wasn't as great i decided to go ahead and leave those behind some more western boots here in a very light tan color they are embellished with rhinestones and a chain harness down here these I got for only $5 and they are by this brand called Cheyenne. They are in a size six and a half. I've sold Cheyenne one other time. There were some boots that were similar to this but in a different color. These are in excellent condition, almost like new. The bottom soles look like they have no sort of wear. The only issue is that here and there they do have tiny like dark spots here as well but I don't think that that's going to affect the sellability of these much because the style is so good. This here is a new one for me. It is this brand called Valerie Flex. I think I've picked up maybe some dresses by her if it's even the same brand but never boots. However since these were leather and they're a size nine and a half so a little bit of a larger size they're more of a riding boot and they have that distressed leather look to them. I thought that they would end up doing good. Also a little extra detail here is this brogue along the back here with the little hose. I think that adds something extra and since it wasn't a well known brand these were about $6. Then we have some thigh high boots. They're black suede with the self tie detail on the back. I don't even remember what brand these are. Oh they're Mark Fisher. They're a size 9.5 and they are black suede with the pointed toe they have this extra detail in the front someone told me in the comments of one of my videos before what this is called but i forgot i'm going to try to look that up and add all of that to my title and description but i thought this was an excellent classic thigh high boot they do have a side zipper so it'll make it easier for you to put it on and take it off another thigh high boot but it's not nearly the same kind of style 
These are more retro, goth, punk type of shoes. They're by a brand called Luxury Rebel. I recently picked up some shoes by them. They don't end up selling for a whole lot, but those shoes did sell really fast. And since these boots are interesting, with the nylon shaft up here and the patent leather at the bottom, that contrast looked cool to me. They're a good size, good condition, good price. So I decided to go ahead and try this Luxury Rebel brand again. Okay, moving on to tub number two. And these do have the prices, so instead of trying to estimate or try to remember about how much I paid for stuff, I can tell you exactly. So first up, some more Western boots. They are by a brand called Cold West, which I've never heard of. They look like some cheaply made Western boots, but sometimes some people are out there looking for them who are more on a budget. They're not looking to splurge 100, 150 for those high-end boot brands. So that's why I still pick up these even when they look like they weren't that well made, even if they're faux leather. These here are size 10 and they were $6.50. Hopefully I can get maybe 25 to 27 out of those. Here are some bare paw boots. Just like Uggs, Bear Paw is another boot brand that I sell a lot during the cold months. I'm thinking these are girl size. Yes, they are. They are youth size 3 in excellent condition. As I said, all of these still need to be prepped. And even then, it looks okay. I may just do a little bit of wiping down here with some disinfecting wipes. And that's really what I focus on when I go out sourcing for shoes focus on those that don't need that much work that look like new even before doing the cleaning. Here is another pair of bear paw shoes. These are a little bit more interesting with the fur pom-pom here in the front. These are bigger. They are a women's size 7 and just like Uggs, bear paws are usually sheepskin lined in the inside so super warm and comfy for these months. These here are not Bear Paw. They're by a brand called Style & Co, which I don't think I've ever picked up. I see it all the time in women's clothing, but I always leave it behind. I don't even know if I've ever done comps, but I just always assumed it's not a good brand that sells well. But I decided to pick up these because they are leather, they are fur lined, they are a size 7 and they look like new. I saw no sort of wear anywhere. Like I said, none of these have been cleaned and all I see is that rock on the bottom of that sole. But other than that, they look in excellent condition. And the price on these was only $8.50. Some more bear paw in this brown color, which I think is a bit more popular. They're also youth size 3. I would try to remember to put in the description that I also have them in black. That way they know that they can choose between the brown and the black. These were $8.50, also in excellent condition. The front does look a little bit bent and sunken in, but once I clean them up and add the paper inside, they're going to look excellent. This, I think I put in my car to do some comps and then totally forgot. It is a brand called, I don't even know how to say it, but there's what it looks like. They looked really interesting to me. Initially, I thought they were Uggs, which is why I decided to go ahead and put them in my cart, do comps later. But as I said, I must have forgot. But I think because of the style of this and the season we're in, they'll still end up selling well. These were $8.50. They are leather upper and they're a size 7. This is a brand that I normally leave behind. It is Jeep, I guess, but because of the style, I decided to go ahead and give it a shot this time. There are some lace-up boots. I love the color contrast of them. It's like a metallic-y type uh, tan color. And then with the gold accents of the hardware, the lace up, the chunky heel, all of those things usually perform well for me in boots. These are size 9 and these were $8.50 as well. We have some more Sam Edelman boots. These are in a gray color and these are in even better condition than the other ones. No sort of wear anywhere, which is one of the main reasons I decided to pick it up. 
Also, they are a size 11, leather upper, and these were only $7.50. For a larger size, Sam Edelman boots that are in like new condition, I thought that was an excellent choice. Here is one of my favorite brands to look out for, and that is Clark's. I used to pick them up a lot more though, but now I'm being a little more picky with what I pick up. But when it comes to boots, they still have a lot of room for profit, which is why I picked these up. Also, the look of them with the lace up, I think it will do well. The bottom soles are excellent. They were a little bit smooth here towards the top, which is why I was thinking, should I bring them or not? But in the end, because of the style, I decided to go ahead and just bring them home. They are a size 7, and these were $10, so a little bit more than I'm used to paying for Clarks, but I still think they will do well. Some more Clarks, also in a great style, with the gray suede and the fur trim on the top. These are in a size 6.5, and, and these were $7.50, so a little bit less for these. In the past, I wouldn't find this brand too much, but as of lately, I've been coming across it a lot more often. It is the brand called Minnetonka, and a lot of the times, this is how their shoes look. They have, or at least their boots, they have a lot of fringe detail going on very boho southwestern looking i love this rusty brown color they do have side zippers on the side a wedge style booty in excellent condition these are a size eight and a half and they were eight dollars and fifty cents here is a great bolo brand it is a jbu sometimes they're also called jambu shoes i find them during the summer in their sandals and they flip excellent so when i saw these boots by them i thought it was a definite pickup especially because of the fur trim up here these were twelve dollars and fifty cents and they are a size nine. But I feel confident paying those $12 because I know that these can flip for high amounts. When I saw these on the shelf, I thought those must be torrid. And sure enough, I got them, looked inside, and they are torrid. This is a beautiful blush pink color combat style boot with the added extra detail of the fur collar up here. They are a size 12 wide, which is an added bonus there. Here's what the bottom soles look like. They just look a bit dusty, but nothing that a cleansing wipe won't take care of. These were $7.50, so an excellent price for this style of boot and a great shoe selling brand. Some more fringe boots, but these here are actually by Sam Edelman again. The bottoms are a bit dark, but hopefully I can get that lightened up because other than that, they are in excellent condition. A beautiful wedge style boot. These were only $8.50. Inside, the Sherpa lining is not in the best of condition, but I think it still will pass. And these are size seven. I think that's a lot of size seven so far. What caught my attention about these boots is just the overall style. They look like they were meant for a special type of activity. And I've mentioned before in my thrift hauls and what solds that things that were made for special things like cycling shoes, boxing shoes, running, and weightlifting, all of those things do really well. So I did some comps on this. They are by the brand called Built. Inside the tag says they are waterproof, they're leather upper. This right here looks like it would be reflective. So all of those things put together made me think that these had the potential of doing well. They were $15. Here we have some more Ugg boots, another wedge style booty. These are probably not in the best of condition like the others were. They were $12.50 and they are a size 6. I think these I could have left behind, but sometimes Ugg boots will sell with a little bit of distressing. I mean, there are some at the thrift store that are way too distressed, but these I think will still pass. Next up, we have these Sperry Duck boots with the Sherpa lining inside. I found them in the men's section. I'm not sure yet whether they're men's or women's. 
and I don't know the size either because I don't see it anywhere I couldn't find it at the thrift store either but I decided to go ahead and bring them home because the inside is removable so I'll be sure to get this very clean and if I can't find the size then I'll just measure this insole from here heel to toe and put that in the description and these were only $10 for a Sperry duck boot that is Sherpa line, I thought that was a great price. This brand is called Soft with two Fs. I picked this brand up a lot in dress shoes. I'm thinking this is my first time trying it out in boots. I just thought these were so interesting. They are a knit material on top, super soft, a light tan color, in excellent condition, the lace-up style. And at the top, they do have a little bit of ribbing going on. These are a size 9, and they were only $7.50. We have some more bear paws, but these here, I was really debating whether to pick them up or not. Because they do have some spots throughout. But other than those spots, everything else looks like it's in excellent condition. Now that I look at it, it also looks like they may have glued it back here but I'll be sure to take very good pictures of all that. The bottom soles are a little bit on the darker side too, so th these are gonna require a little more work than the others, but the price was only $8.50. They are a size eight for women, so hopefully I can get these looking a little bit better and get them sold for like about $45 or so. Here we have these boutique style boots. I like the contrasting colors that these boots have going on. They have the lug sole, the high block heel in the back. I looked up the brand called Public Desire. I didn't expect it to be much and sure enough when I looked it up it really isn't a super desirable brand but I thought the style of these could get them sold. These were $6.50 and they are in a size 6. I also found some cool stock photos for these so I'm going to use those to try to get more out of them. Some more bare paw boots. These are more mid-calf style and the bottoms look a lot more sturdier than other boots. These were $10 and they are a size 7 in women's. This is a brand that I avoid. Usually it is bear traps which i believe is sold either at kohl's or at target one of those two places i usually avoid it because they don't sell for that much but these i thought were cool enough to go ahead and pick up they have the slouchiness going on here with the ruching in the front buckles on the side they are for lined and they have this tweed fabric on the back side. They were $7.50 and these are in a size 9. Here we have some classic Steve Madden combat style boots with the lace up detail. They are in this distressed dark brown leather. The bottoms look okay. These were $7.50. Here's another classic boot with the kill tie in the front. Also lace up combat style looking but these are by a brand called Laredo. I think I've seen this brand at the thrift store many times but I've never picked it up. I don't remember maybe it was the condition or the price. These here are a seven and a half and they were seven dollars and fifty cents. The bottom soles could look better but I think with western style boots like these and brands sometimes the wear doesn't matter too too much as long as they're not breaking down or falling apart you can still make some profit out of them moving on to our third bin which consists mostly of ankle boots but at the bottom i do have a handful of just your typical dress type shoes starting off with this one one of my favorite brands to find and it is vionic there's some wedge style booties lace up they were $5 and these are in a size 9. I sell that brand all the time. They are known for being a comfort shoe brand. It usually sells really well. Although as of lately I find it sitting for just a bit longer than they used to. These here are a brand called Tom's. These are in like new condition. Just a little bit of cleaning that they will need right here. It's a beautiful taupe color with a stacked block heel. 
These were $10. They're a size seven and a half. For $10, I was really debating whether to pick them up or not. Usually I want to pay $6, maybe seven, but that's when I pick up their desert style boots, the classic ones. I will put up a picture here on the side to show you. But since these are different, I also did comps and they seem to be doing really well. You'll be surprised at how much some of those Tom's boots can go for. So even if you see them priced at 10, even 15, do some comps because some of them can really go for high amounts. These here are by a brand called Blondo. It's here on the zipper. Oh, it's also down here, so you're able to see it better. These are some waterproof booties. I've sold this style of Blondo boots several times in the past. These were $6.50. I don't expect to get super high amount for them, but at that price point, I feel like there is plenty of room for profit. And these are in a size 7. I think this brand here may be replacing Clark's for me. As I said, I'm slowing down on picking it up. But this one here is Dr. Show's. And I sell these a lot during the fall and winter. I did last year and then this year. It's looking about the same. These are some wedge style booties with the buckle detail. Black suede. Overall excellent condition everywhere. They were $6.50 and these are a size 8.5. Off the top of my head, I think that these normally sell for about $30, maybe $27 at the lowest, especially if they're in great condition like this. Here is another pair of Ugg boots. These are the ones that were in the best of condition and an excellent style too with the fringe detail, the whole studding going on all around, more of an ankle style boot. These aren't fur line like Ugg shoes normally are. They're just leather on the inside. They are a size seven and a half. These were a bit more pricey at about $23. But since the condition is good, the style, I will add keywords like Southwestern, Western, Boho, Festival, Festive, all of those things. And I think that they can sell for a good profit. Here are some more Dr. Show's booties. These are in a very similar style as the others, except these are lace up. The other ones just had a side buckle. These are a size six and a half, and these were also $6.50. Here we have these retro Oxford lace-up block heel shoes. I picked these up in all sorts of brands, even brands that I would normally leave behind. If they're in this style, I love picking them up. But an added bonus to this is that they are Clark's. Clark's collection. They are a size 9 and they were $5. Yeah, again, some more Dr. Show's wedge booties, just like the black ones with the lace up, the stacked wedge heel, but these are more of a taupe color. These were $6.50. This is another brand that is known for being a comfort shoe brand. It is called Aerosols and these are the heel rest line. They are wedge with the printed pattern here. They are in a larger size, size 10 and a half. They're leather upper and I was debating on these because I mean the style is not really that trendy. Not like the Oxford Clark shoes I showed you earlier like this or a wedge style booty like this one here. But in the end I decided to go ahead and get them because of the price. They were only $3.50. Here we have some more Clark's shoes. These are some Mary Jane style with the block heel. These are in a size 11 and they were $6.50. They are in excellent condition. So for all of those reasons, these Clark's were a yes, whereas a lot of the other ones I leave behind. But since these were a larger size, a Mary Jane style, a dark brown, in excellent condition, I decided to go ahead and get those. This here is mostly a style based pickup. They look retro to me with the short little kitten heel, the adjustable ankle strap, the cutout details, more of a square toe towards the front. They are leather upper, they are a size 9, and they are this brand called Kenneth Co. 
which is not really a brand you should be on the lookout for, but this style of shoe is, and they were only $3.50. This is also a style-based pickup, although sometimes I can do really well with some Gianni beanie shoes. Mostly their tall riding boots is what will sell fast and for good money. I've sold some sneakers at high prices by them too. But there are a lot of shoes at the thrift store by this brand that are just junk that aren't going to sell for that much. But these here, they are a nude color, square toe, block heel, ankle strap, the perfect kind of neutral party heel. And they were only five dollars they are leather and they are a size seven and a half here we have some morel shoes they are a beautiful light brown color super soft suede sharp aligned inside i clearly remember selling a pair that looked similar to these if not they were just like this I listed them and they sold within minutes of listing so I think that's mainly the reason I decided to pick them up. They are a size 9. They are a women's and these were a little on the pricier side $12.50 but some morale shoes can sell for a lot. And like I said, I had a good experience with that style of morel in the past. So we shall see if I have the same fate with those. This here, another style-based pickup because of the retro look, the Mary Jane style. For these kind of shoes, I use keywords like rockabilly, retro, vixen, old school, 80s, 90s, those kind of things, pinup style as well. They're not by a brand you should be on the lookout for, American Eagle. I see a lot of shoes by them that I just leave behind, but like I said, the style of these is what sold me on them. And I guess also the price because they were only $2.50. The color is not bad either. It's like a purplish red and it's a shiny patent leather. These are a size nine. Here we have some Calvin Klein heels. They are red embossed patent leather, the chunky heel in the back, and they do have a thicker sole. So I will use the keyword platform for these. I did do a comp. They seem to be doing okay. And I recently sold some boots by Calvin Klein that I paid up a little bit for, hoping to make a good profit. That sale ended up going good. These here were $8.50, so hopefully this sale goes good as well. Like many other brands, there are some things in Calvin Klein that will do well, but there are many that are just going to go on to sit or sell for low amounts. So if you find this brand, whether in shoes or clothing, make sure to do your comps to make sure that there is room for profit. These here are a size nine. Some more Ugg shoes. These here are some mule though, and they are the Sherpa line classic type style of shoe from Ugg. These are a size 10. They have the buckle detail on the side. Good condition overall. And I paid $12.50 for these. Here we have some Vans slip-on canvas shoes. This is a brand that I will usually do comps on unless I've sold the style before because the pricing really varies on these. It depends on the colorway, the pattern, the style. Sometimes they'll do collabs. So it depends on what you find. Sometimes you can get a lot for it, sometimes not a whole lot. And oftentimes they are priced up at the thrift store for like $15, $20 or so. So that is why it's important for me to do comps on this, on this brand. These here though I thought were a unique pattern. They have a cheetah print in the front and then in the heel as well. The overall condition is okay and these were only priced surprisingly at $8.50. These are a size seven and a half in men's. I believe that's a small size for a men's style of shoe, but hopefully we can get them sold for a decent amount. Here's this brand Naturalizer again. I showed some pair of boots by them earlier. These are more of a dress shoe. I like that they had the square toe and they had this tassel fringe thing in the front, a nice block heel in the back overall good condition on these and they were only five dollars for all of those reasons i thought it was an okay pickup these are a size nine and a half 
some more Tom shoes a lace-up dark brown suede booty these are in a size seven and a half and for these I paid seven dollars and fifty cents which is about how much I will go up to with Tom's boots as I said earlier unless they are super trendy or an unusual style that I never really see here we have some more bear paw these here are some slippers though some loafer type shoes they are sheepskin lined and they are a size 8 in women's. They have the hard bottom here. Some people look for that for house shoes. These were $6.50. I've been picking up this style of shoe recently, the loafer with the fur line. I feel like people look for this kind of shoe during the cold weather just so that they can walk around their home or run some quick errands while wearing some comfy warm shoes. Here we have Michael, Michael Kors which is a lower end brand from Michael Kors. They were $12.50, black leather, the large logo in the front and they are a driving loafer. I think you'd consider them that because they have these chunky things at the bottom and these are a size nine and a half we have some more flats these are by ugg and they are a red sequin they look a little bit busted because they're all flat but once we get them cleaned up they're gonna look really nice and i should probably list these asap because they look like a christmas style of shoe to me they could also do well for valentine's though they are a size nine and they have a black bottom sole. Again with this brand, Minnetonka. It says Minnetonka Moccasin down there. These are a men's shoe, a loafer style with the lace-up detail in the front, the red buffalo plaid inside. And these are in a, an extremely large size, which is 15, but I decided to pick them up anyway because I'm sure there's someone out there looking for this size. And they are that brand Minnetonka, which I've been doing really well with. And the biggest plus of all is that they were only $3.50. So I'm thinking I can make a decent profit out of these here. Right after this, I'm going to get straight into photographing and listing all of these shoes. I'm planning to do 10 a day for the next few days. So by the time you watch this video, all of or most of this stuff is going to be up in all of my shops on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So if you're interested in anything, make sure to go check out my shops. They're always linked down in my description. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today, and I'll see you next time.